we did receive a letter from uh, the Parks Commission that will allow us to continue our program using mowers and weed whackers and such uh, small powered equipment. Unfortunately, that letter did not contain a signature, so our board feels that <laughs> it is not a valid letter. And so we are continuing what we've been doing, which is basically cleaning up around the area with our uh, our uh, workers from the uh, DA's program on the weekend. So you'll still see some workers up there doing some work. Um, and we are going to continue to seek a signature for this letter. Because it's, <laughs> I take it on face value. I would do it if it was myself because it comes from the commissioner's office. And there's really no way to get that letterhead unless you're in that office. But the board convinced <laughs> since there's no signature, it's not a valid letter. Um, after the letter is signed, uh, there's still going to be some problems because uh, we have several large projects that we'd like to get done that, uh, unfortunately, because we'll be limited in the scope of our projects of what we can and can't do up on the Parks Department land, uh, some of these projects will not go forward. Um, but we can work with the Parks Department. They said if we have ideas, we can get together with them and we'll map out whatever ideas we have on the Parks Department land and they'll try and get to those programs that we wanted to do. Uh, I don't hold that much hope because, uh, of course, with budget cuts, like every other agency, they are severely limited in what they can do and what they can provide. Uh, I have to say they did a pretty good job this year. We got more attention on the Parks Department land than we've gotten in the past 10 years from the Parks Department. So. It was a little bit of a boost for us that way, but there are some small items that you know that were not as well attended to. They didn't get to um, the ball fields when we wanted them to get to when they needed to be graded and taken care of uh, in time. And I had a call with the parks department manager and remind him that the fields are being used at a certain time and we need them to be taken care of. So um, it's a little give and take. So. Um, we're hoping to go forward. Like I said, there's some things that we won't be able to do, and some stuff that the Parks Department will have trouble doing. Uh, as far as like abandoned cars, we had the ability to go in and retrieve them because we had the particular equipment to go get them, especially when it got out to the point and where the area was a little softer. Uh, Parks Department always had a problem because they had a particular piece of equipment that they go in with and would uh, always eventually have a problem with because it was not made for that area. So they have problems getting to areas that we don't have a problem getting to. But we, unfortunately, we're limited uh, with what we can put up there. So uh, that may be a little bit of a problem. But uh, so far, there may be only a few cars back there that, that, be, that would be a problem. But, uh, we're progressing. <laughs> we're not where we should be, but uh, as that is, unfortunately. <laughs> Any questions? Any questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.